Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher from Arch Projects for Kids. I'm happy to say that over the years, my website has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Today's drawing video is about how to draw Jane Goodall. She's considered the world's expert on chimpanzees. Here's an easy way to draw a nice portrait of her. Before we get started, you need to gather your art supplies of drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. For some extra help, you can always download this free matching tutorial from my website. And before you start drawing, it's really smart to take a moment to create some guides on your paper. All you need to do is fold and crease the paper in half in both directions. You'll have creases that match my tutorial, which really do help you figure out where your line should go. Step number one, Jane's face starts with a large U shape that looks kind of like this. Watch me draw it now with my pencil and notice that it starts and stops a bit above that center fold line. Step number two, Jane's hair is often pulled back and that can be shown with a small zigzag hairline across her forehead. Make a dot where you think the top of the curve needs to go and then start a curved line to meet it. Then continue that zigzag curve across and down to the other side. I'm trying to make my zigzags a little irregular, meaning some points are bigger than others. Step number three. Next, come her ears. Draw a simple one on the right side below the fold and then one just like it on the left side. Make a mark where the very top of her head should be and draw a curve down that ends on the ear. Then do the same on the left side. Step number four. To make her hair look like it has a little texture, add a few lines here and there like this. Now to draw the neck, add two lines below her head. And then add a simple small shirt collar underneath. Step number five. Plan where Jane's eyes are going to go with four dots like this. Notice these are just below that fold line. Connect the dots to draw the eye on the right. Notice that the top line is a little bit longer than the one below. Then draw the eye on the left side the very same way. Draw the iris and the pupil on the right side. Notice that the round shape tucks under the top a bit so Jane can look relaxed. Then finish the eye on the left side the very same way. Add an eyelid line above the right eye and then one above the left. Then draw an eyebrow above the right eye and one also above the left eye. Step number six. The bottom of the nose is going to go here. Check that it is about halfway down from the eye to the chin and then draw the rest of the nose above it. The mouth is going to be centered in the space below, starting with the middle curved line and then the top lip above it and the bottom lip below. Step number seven. To finish Jane's hair, add a ponytail to the side. Now here are a few ways to make someone like Jane look older to reflect all of her amazing 88 years of age. Start with a few wrinkle lines on her forehead. Then add a couple of lines below her eyes. Also, Jane has some amazing smile and cheekbone lines, which you can add like this. And maybe just a few lines on her neck too, but that's it. You really don't need too many. Step number eight. I'm going to add her name in the background and the good thing is it's short and really easy to do. I'll start with the part of the end that is showing first and then add a block letter E to the right of the end. Then part of a block letter A And finally, the letter J, which should be lined up with the others and showing all by itself. Step number nine. 
Okay, this drawing is all done, so it's time to bring out that black marker and start tracing. Be sure to make all of those lines black so you can really see them when you're done. As always, when the tracing is done, take a moment to clean up your drawing by erasing any pencil lines that are still showing. Now is the fun part, coloring everything in. I'm going to start with her skin. Jane is pretty fair skinned, so a light peach color will work just fine. Then come her black pupils and blue irises. Now I only have a light gray crayon for her hair, but if I press really hard it shows up pretty well. I wish it was just a little bit darker, but most crayon boxes only have this one shade. That's okay, pressing hard really helps. Now for her shirt, I've chosen a kind of reddish purple, but any color will do. If you want to make your drawing have matching colors, you can always fill in Jane's name with the same crayon. Now for the background, I think I'll go with a bright blue-green to add some extra color. Feel free to choose whatever color you like, though. Okay, there is a finished drawing of Jane Goodall. I think it reflects how she often looks when photographed, just very natural looking with a ponytail and simple clothes. That name in the background, though, helps those that are just learning a little bit more about her. So I hope you've enjoyed this Jane Goodall video tutorial. You can check out my website, Art Projects for Kids, for more drawing tutorials like this one, including how to draw Amelia Earhart and how to draw Rosa Parks. I'll see you next time and I hope you keep on drawing.